Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is about how to draw the timing diagram for D latch and D flip flop. So now let us consider a D latch and draw the timing diagram based upon the clock. So this is how a D latch looks. So whenever this is a pause to level sense to latch, that means whenever the clock is on, whenever the clock is on, D equals to Q. Whenever the clock is off, previous value is equals to Q. Okay, previous value equals to Q. That means it acts as a storage element when it's turned off. Otherwise, it lets the inputs to pass through Q. I hope you have understood this and let's draw the timing diagram for D latch. So whenever the clock is high, we need to pass input to output. Whenever the clock is low, we need to latch and hold its output. So this is how a latch looks. There's no arrow symbol. Don't forget there's no arrow symbol over here and it's not a negative, it's a positive one. So if for a negative latch, we will have a complement bubble output bubble input for the clock. Now let us look at the timing diagram. As you can see there's a clock uh, where you can see that it's a 50% duty cycle and this is the input which we are giving to the latch. Now let us look what will happen to the queue. As you know that this is a latch. So this is a positive level sensitive latch. I'm, uh, I'm making more sounds on level sensitive. You need to understand that latch is a level sensitive not an edge trigger. So level means this one. As you can see, I'm drawing with the red one. That is the level. So this is a positive level. That means it will be turned on in this region and in this region and in this region and in this region, this region and this region continued. Now let us draw the diagram for Q. As you can see, in this region, whenever the clock is on, D is high. So D will be high in this region till the next in the region it will have the same value in this region it will check again it is having one so it will continue till the next region of on as you can see from this time period it's zero so it will go to zero it will not consider this one because it's not on in this it will hold the previous value so it will go to the next time period where it's on and check it so it's zero over here as you can see in this this is the most critical one I think you guess see it's turned on for a while so it is transparent whenever the latch is on it is transparent it will not show anything it will show whatever the input is it will show exactly like this so it's high for a few seconds and it's gone down similarly over here it's high for a few seconds and it's gone down. So this is a latch timing diagram. I hope you have understood that in this region, in this region, it's not on. Okay, it will hold the previous value. So in this region, it will hold the previous value. In this region, it will transparent, act as a transparent window. It will pass whatever the input we are giving. It will pass it to the output. I hope you have understood what's a latch. Latch is a level sensitive, it's not edge sensitive and it will hold the previous value whenever the clock or the control input is low. I hope you have understood. Now let's go for D flip flop. Hey what? Wait a minute. It looks similar. Yes. Flip flop is almost similar to a latch but there is a small edge over here. A flip flop is made up of two latches that we will discuss in another video. Now let's concentrate on the timing diagram. As you can see, what's different? That means a flip flop is dependent upon the edge. That means it's dependent upon the positive edge or negative edge. Here we have considered an example of a positive edge. So what are the positive edges? So this arrow indicates the positive edges. So another which are not marked, they are negative edges. So here, our flip-flop is a positive edge. As you know, whenever the edge comes, that point, uh, the input is given to the output. Okay? Now let's draw the timing diagram for the Q output. So as you can see, at this edge, what value is seen at the input? It is seeing 1. The flip-flop is seeing 1. So it will maintain one till the next pause edge comes. 
and at this pauses it sees a value that's 1 so it will maintain the same value till the next pausage. Here it is seeing 0 so it will maintain the 0 value till the next pausage. At this posit it is seeing 0 so it will maintain the same value till the next pausage. Here it is seeing 1 so it is maintaining 1 till the next pausage and here also it is seeing 1 it will maintain 1 till the next pausage. I hope now you are able to draw the timing diagram for D flip flop and D latch. So by this you can judge how a latch works and the flip flop works. As you can see latch is turned on all this period whereas flip flop is turned at this point only that's the pause edge and latch is turned off here and flip flop doesn't matter it won't care wherever it is it is just on in this pause edge okay if it's a positive trigger and if it's a negative trigger it will be on in this negative. Similarly for a flop if it's negative latch negative level sense then it will be on in this period and off in this period. So I know, I hope you know, whenever the clock is off in the negative latch, then it, that means it will transmit from input to output. Whenever the clock is on, it will hold the value. It's just quite opposite of it. I want you to draw the same waveforms, same waveforms for the negative latch and a negative flip flop and take a screenshot and comment down below and I will check your answers. And if you have any doubts, please comment down below and I'm, I make sure that I'll respond within 24 hours. I hope you have understood the difference between the timing diagrams of a D latch and D flip flop. So if you like it, please do share with others and like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.